Jake Reiner, he is in a sci fair neighborhood that is completely flooded out. He was with a man earlier who was out in a boat looking to help people. I understand you're in a home now. I'm assuming it's a flooded out home, Jake. Yes, Lauren, it is a flooded out home and the floodwaters have creeped in since we've been in here about 15, 20 minutes. You can see the entire floor is wet. Now I want to show you something real quick as you open the door here. That is where the so-called lake is and people are starting to leave their homes right now. And uh, just so that you know, you know, we didn't just barge in here. Um, <laughs> we have Greg White, who's the homeowner here. Now, Greg, this is not the first time that you flooded, right? No, it's second time. Second time, and the last time was the tax day floods. Tax day floods. Yeah. Tell me about the the remodeling you've done. This is uh, the second time you've you've remodeled, and it's almost complete, right? Yeah, we finished the first remodel after the flood uh, about September of last year, and so now we get to do it again. But this re this ne this newest remodel was not yet complete, and then you got the floodwaters coming in. How, how does it? How are you feeling right now? First of all, a little tired. <laughs> hey, what you know, it is what it is, so you just got to deal with it. And uh, when uh, when the waters come in, you just you just wait for the waters to go down. And when they go down, you uh, you rebuild. That's all you can do. What can you say? I mean, we've heard so many stories in this neighborhood. As you take a look around Greg's home, you can see everything is raised up. He was very much prepared for all of this. We've heard a lot of stories of neighbors helping neighbors uh, throughout this, you know, Houston area, but especially here. What can you say about the neighbors here in this area? Oh, the neighbors have been great. They, uh, it's a very friendly area, and uh, people will ask, hey, is everything okay? Can we help? Uh, fell across the street's got some young boys, when I say young, they're teenagers, big strong kids, and uh, they're always up to help you pick things up, move things around, stuff like that, and, and uh, they're the first to, to go out and, and ask if they can be help. Um, so it's it's a pretty cool deal, really, with these people down here. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So so many nice people around here. We're taking a look, though, at uh, what's coming into your home, and I have to ask, what are your plans? Are you planning to, to leave or ride this out? What do you think? Uh, as soon as you guys get out of here, we're probably leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine you'd leave us in your own home, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Glenn's going to come haul us out. We got a car that we made arrangements already before this came up, figuring it probably would trap us. So Lynn will, uh, Glenn will come down here and get us, take us to our vehicle, and we're going to try to figure out how to get over to Champions Champions Forest, where my daughter's home is, and stay there until the waters go down. See what what happens at that point. Who knows how long that's going to be, though. So. Well, Greg, we wish you the best of luck. Thank sure. you so much for having us in your home. Sure. Uh, before we toss it back to you, I just want to show you one more time, in case you missed this at the front, just how kind of dramatic this is when you do open the door. There is the lake. Um, this is Honeycomb Lane in the Enchanted Valley off Telgi Road in the Sci Fair neighborhood. And it is, I mean, I'll take a step outside. You can see how deep it is. And then I'll take a step down and it, and it gets even, you know, up to, my, up to my shins here. And like we mentioned, you know, when we last saw you, um, there was a, a man uh, who was saving people on a boat. And Howard Harris has been going up and down this canal, really, you know, helping people and saving people. And so it, it, it's truly remarkable. I mean, it really is. I mean, in dire needs, people helping other people. It's, it's really it's really nice to see when, you know, you have these situations that you just really you can't control. And uh, it's kind of the situation here in Greg's home. And with that, we're going to send it back to you guys in the studio.